So really, 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 really looking forward to seeing her back. Yeah. Here's Helen now with a summary of the news. The night had a great, uh, great sight of it from our building, didn't they? They Find did, yeah. Their evening, yeah. Hopefully they just took three minutes out of their, um, mm. their working uh, shift. Mm. Mm. Oh, apparently at least 20 minutes. <laughs> we'll be having words. The show doesn't suffer, don't worry. <laughs> so to come this morning, Richard Arnold's entertainment news, including an exclusive behind-the-scenes set visit on the new ITV show Superstar. First, though, let's check what's happening where you are this morning. <laughs> We've just gone to 10 to 7. Now, five babies have died from whooping cough in what's thought to be the biggest outbreak in England and Wales in 20 years. So far... Uh, inside the papers, this has uh, caught our attention this morning. I'll I tell you what, um, we'll, we'll set it up for you. Uh, it's the hand gesture that infuriates um, us most of all. So the, the, the mail have listed a number of um, hand gestures. Perhaps if I, I read them out quickly and oh, you do I, them. I right, the speech I'll marks. Assistant. Yeah. Extending palm outwards to mean talk to the hand. Tapping nose for none of your business. Touching fingers to thumb to mean blah, blah, blah. What? Oh. Oh, well, <laughs> that's it. I know, it's difficult to... You think there I recognise so, um, that? Because I get that a lot. OK. So um, let, let us know at home We've if, got if some you guys loads have got some hand well. gestures yeah, that yeah. Um, really get you going this morning. And we'll read some of those a little bit later on. It's now quarter to eight, and tomorrow is the seventh anniversary of the July 7th bombings on the London transport system. It was a day that shocked the country into silence after the jubilation of winning the bid to host the 2012 Olympics. Thank you, oh, Lucy. You can hear the rain, couldn't you, on the, uh, on yeah. the brolly? Um, so there's a story in the, uh, in the mail this morning saying the hand gesture that infuriates us most of all. And they've listed a few. For instance, one that gets uh, their readers going is speech marks. Yeah. Uh, or extending palm outwards to mean talk to the hand. Got, got the idea? Yeah, so we've asked you guys at home some of the I hand gestures that... I will mute, you'll be relieved to know, you throughout don't the rest like. of this item. Sheetal, good morning, on email. The most irritating gesture is when you wag your index figure, finger from side to side, meaning no. Um, Jill and Wigan, morning. Fingers on lips to say, be quiet. That drives Jill mad. I hate it when a hand is used in a chopping movement at me. It feels like I'm being told off or shouted at. That comes in from uh, Teresa Cruz this morning. Boy, you're making a lot of our viewers angry, I think, this morning. Putting your fingers in L shapes at the side of your head to say LOL. That drives Lauren crazy. Morning, Lauren. How many more have we got of these? Uh, oh, any hand gesture. This is from Ali. Any hand gesture accompanied by uh, the wobble head movement really winds me up. I can't stand it! Let me speak, for the love of God! Yeah, I, I can imagine how that would wind you up. <laughs> oh, Garraway mute for 35 quiet. seconds. <laughs> Thanks very much for getting involved. Now, um, to Andy Murray, I've noticed, he's been winning quite a lot recently, and when he has yes. been winning at Wimbledon, he's been doing that, so that's been his kind of hand gesture. Ooh. Is that a thank um, you God thing or something? I don't well, I think it's something to do um, with him hitting the heights with his trainer. No one's really quite sure, okay. I'm not... Sh I, I, I don't know, I haven't got the inside track on that, sadly. How um, is he going to be doing that, though, today? Yes, because he's got a semi-final, massive mm. semi-final down at Wimbledon, uh, hoping that this year could be his year. One final hurdle before he gets to the final, he's got to play uh, Joe Wilfrid's song, a man though he's beaten on many occasions hasn't he? That's about it from us for this week, Nick. Uh, we're going to be looking at all your parenting dilemmas next week and what you can do about them. So yeah. keep those coming in, please. I'm looking forward to carrying the torch on Monday. Won't be here, but I'll be in Oxford carrying <gasps> oh, the torch on Monday on evening. We... Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll see it on Brilliant. Tuesday. Now, here's the beautiful Amanda Holden who's standing in for Lorraine.